Hello viewers, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the self-pip writing task one. In fact, in the IELTS, when you write a formal letter to somebody who is not known to you, then you write dear sir or madam, and then yours sincerely or faithfully and give your name at the end. But in self-pip, if you're writing to somebody who is not known to you, then it's okay, you can write the same way. But if you're writing to your boss, then you can write it in an informal way and the assessors will not penalize you. Let's see, what do we have here? In every video of mine, I'm trying to come up with new letter and survey question. So please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Also comment below, this way I'll be able to come up with more such videos in the future. This is Sridhar from Selfip Academy. Let's see what we have here. You successfully passed a job interview. You are expected to start on 1st of the next month, but you will not be available on that date. Write an email to your new boss in about 150 to 200 words. In your letter, describe the problems. First prompt is explain your situation, express your concern, suggest the possible solution. All right then, so I can, like I said, I can start by saying, hi, John. Even though I am have not, maybe I have not met him, even if I met him, I can write the name or I can write to the HR professional. He may be somebody who is John. All right. So it's a fictitious name. All right. Let's start. Hi, John. And here in self writing task and survey question, task one and task two, you can write up to 10% of the 200, which is 220. So remember this. All right. Hi, John. My name is Sri the and I am supposed to join on the September 2nd, 2024 in the customer, you can make it capital or just leave it at that, but nouns can be capital, it's okay. Customer service department as the customer service head. However, I regret to inform you that I have been struck in my native town with a heavy down Okay, so heavy downpour or you can write rains. Let me explain. So we have given a brief, brief introduction as to what has happened and then now we are, you have to explain your situation. You have explained it. Now you have to express your concern and then let me explain. So proofreading is very important. Hi, John. My name is Sridhar. Or you can write it as Hi, Karthik. Anything. So there is no steadfast rule that you have to write only Western names. My name is Sridhar and I'm supposed to join on the September 2nd, 2024 in the customer service department as the customer service head. However, I regret to inform you that I have been stuck in my native, not stuck, stuck, stuck in my native town with a heavy rain, heavy rainfall. Let me explain.
the incessant rains have caused heavy flooding in the area where we live in our countryside because of which the road leading to the highway has been affected by floods. Furthermore, my grandparents and I haven't I come up haven't been in touch with furthermore my grand grandparents and I haven't been in touch with anybody therefore once the internet was up. Okay, we can write it as another sentence. Okay. Furthermore, my grandparents and I are not able to are not able to move out of our home. So it's a precarious situation. So we need to write as soon as the internet was up, up, I could write to you to let you know the gravity of the situation therefore i i request you to allow me to report to the duty on the 4th September 4th. Okay, so <clears throat> today's date is 14. So it's okay. We are just giving a, a fake date to uh, because normally it's the first week of any month is when you join any company. So, or maybe the second week or third week, something like that. Sometimes, um, uh, as usual, the company wants you to join from the first week. So we can make it as uh, September 2nd to September 4th. Therefore, I request you to allow me to report to the duty on the September 4th, 2024. I promise you that I will not miss the or I assure you I assure you that I shall be prompt in my duty So therefore, I request you to allow me to report to the duty on the September 4th, 2024. Instead of the second, okay. Instead of the September 2nd, 
So I think we have exceeded the word limit. We should also be careful about that. Such as the possible solution. Now, solution only the boss can give. However, you are requesting. So this is what you can do. Anyway. <clears throat> So how many words? I forgot to count. One second. Okay, it's already 137 words. So I think we can conclude here and make it a decent one. Okay, let's do a proofreading again. Hi, Karthik. My name is Sridhar and I'm supposed to join on the September 2nd, 2024 in the customer service department as a customer service head. However, I regret to inform you that I have been stuck in my native town with a native town with a heavy rainfall. Heavy rainfall obstructing the commutability. So we sh it should be a proper sentencing, okay? However, I regret to inform you that I have been stuck in my native town with a heavy rainfall obstructing the commutability. Let me explain. The incessant rains have caused heavy flooding in the area where I live in, in our countryside because of which the road leading to the highway has been affected by floods. Furthermore, my gran grandparents and I are not able to move out of our home as soon as the internet was up, I could write to you to let you know the gravity of the situation. Therefore, I request you to allow me to report to the duty on the September 4, 2024 instead of the September 2nd, 2024. I hope or I, I am sure Sure, you will understand the, I've already given the gra gravity of the situation. So what else can I write? Mm. So as soon as the internet was up, I could write to you to let you know the gravity of the situation. I'm sure you will understand and allow me to join after the, the floods recede, floods recede in my area. I look forward to hearing from you soon with with we have already said understand what else can we write. I look forward to hearing from you soon. <clears throat> and look forward to your cooperation okay so I look forward to hearing from you soon and look forward to your cooperation. That should suffice. Best regards. Best regards. Sridhar. I cannot give it as Sandy because I've given my name as Sridhar. Sandy is my nickname. So let's see how many words we have here. We have written close to 176 words which is a good one, in fact. So viewers, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the other side. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye from me.